So following on from the video where we talked about different types of brow products, now I'm just going to talk you through the application techniques. So just a couple of do's and don'ts first of all. Um, we mentioned about when you choose colour, make sure you don't have anything that has any red in it. Um, when you are looking at the shape of your brows, a couple of things before we talk about the arch is make sure you don't have round ends. Um, it, that? it tends to look like you've got two little sort of slugs. Um, it's Lovely. not a flattering look, and unless you... Have I got slugs? No. Is it something you wanted no. to tell me? When you see it, you will really notice it on somebody. And also don't make your um, the sort of straighter, don't make them kind of pointy inwards, because it, you, again, you can look a bit angry, a bit evil Edna, for those of you that grew up in the 70s and 80s. Um, and then we look at how to shape. So if you just look straight on Tracy for me, um, using your brow, brush or a pencil, what you want to do is you want to take it from up the side of the nose and that is where your brow should start. So if you go too far, if your hairs have a lot in between then that's where you need to pluck. So it should start here. The highest part, the arch, should go from the corner of your nose up through the pupil and then the end should be from the corner of your nose to the corner of your eye. Now, Tracy actually has a little bit missing here on her tail, which is really common, lots of ladies do, either through over plucking or the eyebrow just doesn't go, uh, grow that long. So that's really how you judge your shape. Um, a couple of products I'm gonna to use today, I'm gonna to do two different products. The first one is going to be from Anastasia of Beverly Hills. Um, and this is one of their brow products, which is called like a brow mousse, a pomade. Um, I really like it. It's a great product to use, lasts forever as long as you pop your lid back on. Um, and this, this is, is a product you can get from Cold Beauty. Cold Beauty, yeah. So load up your brush, not too much, and I always use the back of my hand as a palette. Now, what you want to do, I'm going to do, if Tracy just looks, I'm going to start with this brow. You start at the arch area because that's the area that should be slightly deepest, and that actually is where you lose definition. You've got great definition at the beginning. Gets a bit patchy then, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. And you're just feathering that on, yeah. aren't you? You're not really brushing it as such, it's just little tiny strokes. Tiny strokes, and what I always do is I always on the back of a, a lady's hand when I'm doing brow Yeah, so you get that. So idea. she gets to the idea of pressure. So you're building that up gently, aren't yes. you? Yes. And if you do go for a brow lesson with anybody, always make sure they give you a mirror so that you can actually see what she's doing. It's no good just feeling what she's doing and then seeing the end result. So that's number one, and we're going to use a different product on the other one just to show the different textures. So that's the Anastasia Brow Pomade. And then the next one I'm going to do is actually going back to the HD Brow Kit. Now, the dark one on the end here that you can see is used, that's the colour that I use. And although Tracy is dark, I'm actually going to use a slightly cooler tone on her, which is this one here. And again, no red in it. Back of the hand, starting again. And what you can do as well, um, when you practice it, is rest your little pinky on your cheekbone to give you... Uh, a little bit more stability. Now, the other thing that's really important with your brows, and you use something that's often said, your brows are sisters, not twins. So don't spend forever trying to get them identical, because what will happen is they'll just get bigger and darker, and you know, you're not going to get there. And your face isn't symmetrical. So you're aiming for obviously a groomed look. The when you use a powder um, such as the HD Brown, what's really good afterwards, and it's in this kit, is just to go over with a little brow wax to fix them in place and to put a little bit of shine back in. So that's great if you're having hot flushes and things like that, just yeah. so it doesn't slide off your face yeah. during the day. Yeah, absolutely. So um, so that's just some tips on application. So good brush. Um, and even if you're using a pencil product, go through with a brush afterwards, definitely. Um, any more questions, then just let us know. Um, you can post them under the video or to the website. Um, but hopefully that's helped. So shape, colour of product, remember no red, and um, just make sure that you know, 
you line up your brow shape. Great. Thanks, Nikki. Thank you.